The benefits of individuals and societies and the subjects within it are that you get a real understanding of who you are, um, what things are, when things happened, uh, where you came from, from a global perspective. We don't just look at what's going on in this country or in your home country, but we look through the lens of um, different regions around the world. We also focus on concept-based learning. Each of our subjects has an in, um, internal assessment. For higher level, they're worth 20% of the course. For standard level, they're worth 25% of the course. In history, you get the opportunity to choose any topic in history and write about it, as long as it fits the remit of the mark scheme. In anthropology, you can do critics of different societies. In geography, it's physical geography, and you're out on field trips. In economics, uh, you have to do three um, small assessments based on uh, current media events. In business, we relate to the real world and you study a business. And in psychology, you have the opportunity to do some experimental work. So for my history assessment, I've been looking at the bombing of Auschwitz and more specifically why the British government didn't get involved. Um, so I've been looking at both the side of the Allies and the American government's involvement as well as Winston Churchill's kind of his choices as to why he chose not to bomb um, Auschwitz and why even though there was pressure from the Jewish community at the time he chose to not listen. So business, I didn't have this as a subject back in Germany and I was really interested in business management. I'm thinking about studying business management so um, this is the perfect opportunity for me. So for my extended essay I did that in history and I'm looking at the Tokyo trials and whether the judgement for the Tokyo trials was fair. I enjoyed doing all the research for my extended essay and getting a better understanding of an um, aspect of history that we don't cover in, cover in the classroom and it was really great to look at different perspectives and kind of get a better understanding of how to write a proper academic paper and I think it will prepare me more for university and yeah just give me a better understanding of um, how to write for a history essay in the future. So um, I got a lot of support from my teachers throughout my process of writing the two essays and they gave me feedback and ways to improve it and they also offered me resources that I could look at to help further my um, depth of study. At university I plan to study liberal, art, liberal arts because I have a great interest in humanities and just kind of the artistic subjects so by choosing essay based subjects I found that that's really helped me. Um, social anthropology has been able to give me a better understanding of the societies around the world and just get a better understanding of why people do certain things and history has also given me a wider understanding of um, I guess like ethical issues um, throughout the past and also just a better understanding of a more global history that I didn't get to study before doing the IB and English has also helped me to uh, develop my analytical skills and my essay writing skills as well. Um, so I came to Hoku um, having a huge passion for maths and numbers um, as well as physics but also um, a real t love for humanity such as economics and what the IB has helped me to do is it has given me that flexibility to take all four subjects um, and help me to choose along the way um, exactly what I want to do in the future. And now, you know, I've made the decision that I want to do maths and computer science at university. Um, but that's only because of the experience that Hoku has given me and all the um, lessons that I've, I've attended and, and the way that I've enjoyed all those classes um, have made me sure about what I want to do in the future. And um, thanks to the IB, um, I, I, I re I'm, I'm in a really good state of mind. The, intern the IA, or Internal Assessment as it's formerly known, is a chance for students like us to use the, uh, the content that we've learned in class and apply it to the real world. Um, for example, in economics, uh, we've been asked to um, choose an article from microeconomics, macroeconomics and international economics that, um, that, has, uh, that has been published in the last one year and write a commentary about it using um, the, con the, the theory um, and the techniques that we've learnt in class and I think that's really helped me to, to understand um, what we're going through at the moment, you know, the Covid crisis and, and all the economic decisions that have, that have been made um, and also be, it's helped me to build a, a, a list of real world examples that I can go and use um, in, in essays and in exams and, and that's really helped me to boost my score.